Donald Trump and J.D. Vance continue to spread debunked racist conspiracy theories about Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio. And now the Wall Street Journal has conducted a thorough investigation and they just dropped a bombshell on J.D. Vance. Let's just say that he's got some serious explaining to do. I'll tell you all about it. In addition to the nasty rumors about Haitian immigrants stealing people's pets and eating them, Donald Trump and Republicans have been spreading some nonsense about an illegal Haitian immigrant killing an 11 year old boy in Springfield, Ohio. And it turns out there was a tragic accident where an 11 year old boy was thrown from a school bus when a Haitian immigrant's car veered into oncoming traffic. And that 11 year old boy's father spoke out the day before the debate between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump to say enough is enough. Stop using my son's tragedy for your political talking points. And speaking of morally bankrupt, politicians, Bernie Moreno, Chip Roy, J.D. Vance and Donald Trump, they have spoken my son's name and used his death for political gain. This needs to stop now. I wish that my son, Aiden Clark, was killed by a 60-year-old white man. I bet you never thought anyone would ever say something so blunt. But if that guy killed my 11-year-old son, the incessant group of hate-spewing people would leave us alone. But that did not stop Donald Trump from spreading these terrible rumors about the Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio. The next night, in the debate with Kamala Harris in front of an audience of 67 million people watching, Donald Trump spread these false rumors about Haitian immigrants. And when he was called out on this by David Muir, one of the moderators, he said the following. I just want to clarify here, you bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there have been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is the- The people on television say my dog was taken and used for food. So maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. I'm not taking this from but television. But the people on I'm television are saying their dog was eaten by the people that went there. Again, the Springfield city manager says there's no evidence of that. Vice we'll President Harris, out. I'll let you respond to the rest of what you've heard. <laughs> you talk about extreme. <laughs> so Donald Trump not backing down at all, even when being called out on this. And his partner in crime, J.D. Vance, went on the Sunday shows this last weekend and admitted that they're just making up stories. Dana, the evidence is the firsthand account of my constituents who are telling me that this happened. And by the way, I've been trying to talk about the problems in Springfield for months and the American media ignored it. There was a congressional hearing just last week of angel moms who lost children because Kamala Harris let criminal migrants into this country who then murdered their children. The American media totally ignored this stuff until Donald Trump and I started talking about cat memes. If I have to, but it if wasn't I just have a to meme, create stories so that the American media actually pays attention to the suffering of the American people, then that's what I'm going to do, Dana, because you guys are completely letting Kamala Harris coast. J.D. Vance then took things even further and posted the following just days ago on Twitter. In the last several weeks, my office has received many inquiries from actual residents of Springfield who said their neighbor's pets or local wildlife were abducted by Haitian migrants. It's possible, of course, that all of these rumors will turn out to be false. Do you know what's confirmed? That a child was murdered by a Haitian migrant who had no right to be here. So this is a big one. First of all, nobody murdered a child. It was a tragic accident where a Haitian immigrant who had a legal right to be there accidentally veered into oncoming traffic and a school bus overturned and an 11 year old boy was thrown from the school bus and died. That is the, the boy who you heard from his father earlier asking these politicians to stop using his son's death for political gain. There was no alcohol or drugs involved. The guy did not have a license to drive in Springfield, Ohio, but it was a terrible tragedy. So shame on JD Vance for framing the death of this young person in such a terrible way. But J.D. Vance continues with his nasty monologue. 
that local health services have been overwhelmed, that communicable diseases like TB and HIV have been on the rise. And that is the part that I wanted to point out. J.D. Vance is spreading a rumor that communicable diseases are on the rise in Springfield, Ohio. And this is putting a target on these Haitian immigrants. And this is where the Wall Street Journal's investigation comes into play. They looked into some of these rumors that people like J.D. Vance are spreading. And not only did they find out that these talking points aren't true, but they also uncovered evidence that J.D. Vance has known the entire time. And wait until you see the final point that I bring up from the Wall Street Journal's investigation. A Vance spokesman provided the Wall Street Journal with a police report that Vance has been referring to as part of his evidence showing that Haitian immigrants have been kidnapping pets. But the Wall Street Journal tracked down that person who filed the police report, and they've got a much different story to tell now. So in regards to Haitian immigrants causing an uptick in communicable diseases, the Wall Street Journal found out the following. Information from the county health department, however, shows a decrease in infectious disease cases countywide with 1,370 reported in 2023, the lowest since 2015. The tuberculosis case numbers in the county are so low, four in 2023, three in 2022, one in 2021, that any little movement can bring a big percentage jump. HIV cases did increase to 31 in 2023 from 17 in 2022 and 12 in 2021. Overall, sexually transmitted infection cases decreased to 965 in 2023, the lowest since 2015. So it doesn't sound like infectious diseases are taking over the county because of these Haitian immigrants. In fact, it sounds like communicable diseases are at their lowest level in nine years. And J.D. Vance was exposed as a liar who knew he was spreading falsehoods. Listen to this. City manager Brian Heck fielded an unusual question at City Hall on the morning of September 9th from a staff member of Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance. The staffer called to ask if there was any truth to bizarre rumors about Haitian immigrants and pets in Springfield. He asked point blank, are the rumors true of pets being taken and eaten? Recalled Heck. I told him no. There was no verifiable evidence or reports to show this was true. I told them these claims were baseless. By then, Vance had already posted about the rumors to his 1.9 million followers on X, yet he kept the post up and repeated an even more insistent version of the claim the next morning. And of course, Donald Trump went on national television in the debate with Kamala Harris the next night and amplified these rumors to the next level. Now, this Wall Street Journal article about their investigation has a bunch of great points. But the last one I want to mention to you guys is that a Vance spokesperson provided the Wall Street Journal with a police report from a resident of Springfield, Ohio, claiming that their pet had been kidnapped and eaten by neighbors. But when the Wall Street Journal tracked down that person, their story completely changed. A Vance spokesperson on Tuesday provided the Wall Street Journal with a police report in which a resident had claimed her pet might have been taken by Haitian neighbors. But when a reporter went to Anna Kilgore's house Tuesday evening, she said her cat, Miss Sassy, which went missing in late August, had actually returned a few days later, found safe in her own basement. Kilgore, wearing a Trump shirt and hat, said she apologized to her Haitian neighbors with the help of her daughter and a mobile phone translation app. And there's a picture of the culprit right there, Anna Kilgore, who helped spread these rumors with her police report. So these are the people that Donald Trump and J.D. Vance are pointing to as their evidence that Haitian immigrants are kidnapping people's pets and eating them. So outrageous. J.D. Vance has a lot of explaining to do now after it's been revealed by the Wall Street Journal that he knew damn well that there were no pets being kidnapped and he knows all the other nonsense he's saying about communicable diseases and on and on just aren't true. So in a desperate attempt to make immigration the number one issue for voters, Republicans continue to spread these debunked lies about the Haitian community in Springfield, Ohio.
and all they're trying to do is rile up their base to come out and vote. But with some solid investigative work by the Wall Street Journal and other news organizations, the Republicans' talking points are quickly falling apart. 